Good morning, welcome back to Find Your Inner Sparkle with Adele and it's Movement Monday today so we're going to do some movement in the body to release tension from mainly the hips and the shoulders but we're looking at a theme of forgiveness today and self-compassion. So what I wanted us to do was just to begin in a nice comfortable seat of your choice so you can sit yourself up on a bolster like I am or on a, on a yoga block or a folded blanket and just cross your legs gently at the ankles. Go ahead and lift up through the shoulders and take a moment to just roll them back and down. So lift up through the spine, the shoulders, breathe in, roll them back and down. So we can often feel as if we have the weight of the world on our shoulders and it can create all this tension around the neck and shoulders. So just do a few more of those with your breath. <sighs> Great, and then come to stillness. See your hands resting on your legs, palms down or palms up. See how that feels in your back and your shoulders. And I'll invite you to close your eyes here. It's up to you if you're not comfortable closing your eyes just yet. Then gently tuck the chin and just have a soft gaze, gently looking past your nose. Begin to just settle in here in your seat. And simply observe your breath. Possible breathing in and out of your nose, sealing the lips. But it can be useful to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth with a real sense of a sigh and letting that tension drift away from the shoulders and the upper back. After a few moments of observing your breath, go ahead and place your right hand on your heart around your mid chest, your left hand on your belly. Relax your elbows down and your shoulders. Breathe into your left hand. See if you can really send your breath into your belly now. Relax your belly as much as you can. Good. And then breathe into your heart. So breathe into your right hand. Expand your belly and then your chest. So a real nice deep breath in and then let it go through the nose or the mouth. And again, breathe into the belly, the left hand and then the right hand. And let it go. One more, expand belly. Expand into the chest. The heart space and exhale. Placing both hands on your heart space now so the left hand can come over the right hand. And just picture this place, picture your heart in your chest beating, supporting you moment by moment, day after day. Notice how it feels around this area, your heart space, your heart chakra. And just for a moment, just thinking about yourself and how you see yourself, how you view yourself. See if you can invite some compassion into this space. sense of self-love and forgiveness. 
Relax your belly, relax your heart space. And just as you exhale, really relax your shoulders. Soften. Find something to release and let go of here. Perhaps you've been holding on to something, something you've said or something you've done in a previous life, a previous time. Let it go. Forgive. And invite this sense of compassion into your heart space. One last deep breath here. And as you exhale, release your hands back onto your knees. Drop your chin to your chest and just blink your eyes open. Great, that may have been easy for you to do or it may have been really difficult. You may have found it difficult to think of things and that's fine. So this sense of self-love, self-compassion, it's a bit of a journey to use that word, but practice it every so often, keep coming back to it just really bring and invite in a sense of forgiveness and compassion into your daily life. So let's go ahead and bring the fingertips to the shoulders and bring the elbows forwards just to meet at the front and then reach them up as you breathe in, really stretch them back as you breathe out. Keeping this sense of compassion with you as you move. Notice if you have a little voice that tells you whether you're doing this right or wrong, you've really got to concentrate, you might mess up. It's all good stuff just to notice it. And in our practice of forgiveness and self-love and compassion today, smile at the inner voice, the inner child, the inner critic. It's there to do a job, it's there to protect us, but we can choose whether we listen to that voice or whether we let it go with blessings, with love. And then take your circles the other way. So we don't want to push it away and, and be angry with it. We, we just want to treat the little voice, the inner child, with just as much compassion. And thank it for its services send it on its way just for today. Great. So when you're ready, release your hands back down and make your way onto all fours. So let's come onto all fours now with your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And start to release your spine, dropping the belly, lifting the head and tail as you breathe in a nice big breath in. And a big breath out as you round the back, push the floor away, chin to chest. We'll do a few more of those cat cow movements. You can close your eyes here and just flow with your breath, moving your body with compassion and self love. And then taking your knees a little bit wider, bringing your big toes together. So we tend to store a lot of emotions in the hips. So just to release the hips a little bit, walk your hands a little bit further forwards and just start to take some slow circles in a clockwise direction, feeling into your shoulders and your hips as you do this. Again, a real sense of compassion here in how you move. So perhaps you found your, wow, I want to get going, I want to, I want to move fast, I want to create more and do more and be more. If that's you, I hear you because I have that inner pusher in me too. And just try and slow it down a little bit. Move a little bit slower as if you're moving through treacle or water. 
and you're trying just to find those little tiny places that need that love and care and attention in your body. Change direction, go the other way. And tell yourself you're doing a great job just by being here, just by incorporating a little bit of yoga into your daily life. And creating more space in your body and you're becoming a better person more importantly. So when you're ready, sit back onto the heels or towards the heels and stretch the arms out. So knees are still wide. So we're stretching hips and shoulders here. Ooh, reach, reach, reach the arms out, drop the head down. Take a deep breath, let it go. Really relax your shoulders as you reach your arms forward so you can um, get rid of any tension, just melt the heart down, melt the shoulders down. Great, and then come back up to all fours, walk your knees back in, curl your toes, and lift your hips up high into a downward facing dog, slowly pedal through your heels. One heel and the other, and the ankles crack. Stretch out the back of the legs, open your shoulders. See if you can create as much space as possible around the shoulders and the chest. And then walk it forwards. So your feet come just behind your wrists here. Bend your knees, relax your spine. And then start to straighten the left leg, coming onto the right fingertips, bring the left hand onto the waist and just gently turning to look over the left shoulder. Good. Bend that left knee, bring the left hand down now and straighten the right leg and turn to look over the right shoulder and keep going. So we're straightening one leg at a time. Looking over the shoulder of this straight leg. Soften the knees and switch. Straightening the leg and switch one more time to each side. Maybe you start to be able to lift up the arm of the straight leg side, but if not, if you have got tension in your shoulders, feel free to keep that hand down build up over time. Now coming back to your forward fold with your knees bent, start to roll up through your spine. So really take your time. There's a tendency for people to come straight up with straight legs here and you're putting all this pressure on your back as your pivot point. So if you really bend your knees, you, you use the strength of your legs to work to unravel your spine. Your spine is really nice and safe now. That's what we want to do. We want to unravel really slowly and then roll your shoulders back and down. Good. So coming on to just the right leg now and lifting the left knee in line with your hip. Slowly take your knee out to the side, drop it back down and then bring it back up. So slow rotation here. Again, Watch if you're going like this. Come on, let's go. Slow it down, please, just for today. Slow it down. Move with love and compassion for this hip joint. We want to look after our hips. We want to still be able to crouch down to the floor and get back up again when we're older. We want to be able to still, you know, go for walks. Change direction when you're ready. Whoops. So we want to really look after our joints, our bones. And you might be able to feel your standing legs working really hard here to support you. So the ligaments, the little bones and the muscles in the foot, very intricate. You're strengthening those. So it's going to help you to become stronger and, and not to fall over or twist your ankle when you're out walking. Good. Give that leg a little shake. Shake to the side, shake to the front, release any tension in the hip and then switch. Soften your standing leg, hands on the waist, 
can lift up the knee, externally rotate, slow the movement. If you really want an extra challenge on your balance, you can try it with your eyes closed, but it's tricky. <laughs> Ooh. So if you're getting really good at balance and you want an extra challenge, close your eyes. Try tree pose with your eyes closed. Change direction if you haven't already and then shake it off. Shake it off. Good. Okay, let's come forwards again to the top of the mat and bring your hands together. Take a breath in. Breathe out, soften the knees, breathe in, take your arms out and up, big shoulder rotation here. Exhale to soften again at the knees, draw your hands together, just interlacing them behind your tailbone. Gently open the shoulders and fold forwards. So your hands may just be on the tailbone off or just lifting off, depending on your shoulder mobility here. And that's fine. So lifting your arms, your hands to a comfortable place. When you feel that resistance, just holding it there, relaxing over. So you're reaching your hands just off the tailbone as much as you can. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Really keeping your knees bent. Relaxing your head down to the ground. And being gentle with yourself so if you're struggling in your shoulders and your hands are only just off the tailbone notice if you're giving yourself a hard time about that smile if you are <laughs> tell yourself you're doing your best and that is good enough good slowly release the hands bend the knees and slide I shouldn't wear a hoodie to do yoga in the right leg back right toes back Drop the heel down, bend that front knee, left leg, and come up to a warrior one. So back leg is straight, so you might have to just hop that in so that you can get the heel down to the ground. Front knee is bent, knee stays behind the front ankle. The warrior one, hands can be on your waistline, or you can reach them up to the ceiling or the sky. Have plenty of space for your shoulders and you can look up at the space between your hands if you want to or you can keep looking straight forwards. <sighs> Good. Let's open it out to warrior two. So drop the heel again, turn the toes on the back foot around to the long edge of the mat, maybe widen your stance, keep that front knee pressing out towards the little toe. And just watch that you're not prizing your hips open here and they feel uncomfortable. Turn your back toes in enough so that this back hip can relax. We want to release tension in the hips. We don't want to create more. So drop that back hip in as much as you need to and rotate from your spine instead. Open your arms out, shoulder height, palms pressing down and look over your left hand. Have a dignified posture. So pulling the shoulders back, lifting the head, stacking the head over the heart, the heart over the pelvis, nice strong legs. Relax your shoulders. There's a tendency here for people to be really tense in the shoulders. <sighs> Drop your arms, relax your shoulders and then see if you can bring your arms up from there. So from a relaxed shoulder position. Breathe. <sighs> Good. Come back to face the front foot, drop that knee down, come into your low lunge. So again, working into this back hip, sink your hips forwards and down, relax the shoulders, relax the hip. You can have your hands on the front knee or again, you can reach them up to a crescent lunge if you prefer. Back toes can be curled under for support or you can release them if that feels better. Great, and then release the hands and step that left foot back. Come into your child's pose now, so sit back onto your heels, relax your head, relax your shoulders, curl your toes under, 
bring yourself back to all fours, come down to the belly, chest, chin, hips come down, inhale, baby cobra, exhale, soften and fold. Good, curl the toes under, push back to all fours and then take it to your downward facing dog, pedal at the feet. And then lifting your right leg. Have a look at the space between your hands and do your best to step your foot up to it. So if your foot doesn't reach, it's just another wonderful chance to practice compassion. If it only goes here, that's okay. It's going to take time. So you can come down onto that left knee now and you can lovingly get hold of your foot and bring it forwards. Now lift the back knee. Pop it in slightly, bend that right knee and straighten the left leg, coming up, warrior one on the other side. So just your feet, find the best place for your body, hands could be down or lifted, head can be looking straight forward if your balance is a little bit wobbly today, or looking straight up. Good. Open out to your warrior two by turning your left toes. Remember to be kind to your back hip. So in order to keep your right knee over the ankle, if you need to turn the left toes in slightly, which I do, to help my hips to not feel like they're being stretched beyond their capability. And then you can turn from your spine. Your spine is good at rotating. It's much more mobile than your hips. Open out the arms, palms pressing down, relax your shoulders, practice that ah, release in the shoulders, let them go and then gently float your arms, keeping the shoulders relaxed, looking over the right hand, breathe in and breathe out, turn to face the front foot, drop onto the back knee and coming into your low lunge, remember your hands can be here or here, Stretching that back hip. One more breath and then let it go. Curl the back toes under and step it forwards to your forward fold. And then walk your feet out wide, turn your toes out left to right. And drop down into a squat. Now be careful with this if your knees um, tend to complain about this deep compression then just come down into a half squat instead and you're really going to be powering up the legs and working the muscles in the legs here lengthening your spine if you're coming all the way down bring your elbows onto the inside of the knees maybe you keep the hands on the mat that's okay maybe it feels really good to just move left to right to work into any tension in those hips Maybe you want to bring your palms together and lengthen up through the back. Don't worry about whether the heels come down or not. Now we're going to try and come down onto a seat and we may roll back or we may not. So reach your arms forwards, start to come down. So you may go, Woo, that's okay. Smile, laugh at yourself, laugh at your mistakes or your little imperfections. If you can come down to a seat with control and be proud. Bring your feet up, shins parallel with the ground. Bring your hands under your legs here just to support and lengthen up through your spine. Just a little core exercise here, Navasana. So you can stay here and this act of holding onto the wrists or interlacing the fingers as a little bit of a hug. You could even just keep your toes down if this is too much. So listen to your body. Or if you want a little bit more, you can reach the arms out left to right. Smile. Tell yourself well done just wherever you are for being here. Really tell yourself that. It can be a little bit cliche, can't it, to say that, but really tell yourself well done for doing this. Good, release, cross the ankles again, bring the hands onto the knees and come to take a comfortable seat with this straight spine. 
just take some small circles. So lean back and round your back. Take it over to the left and then lean forwards and open the chest over to the right. So going in a big clockwise circle here. Working into your hips and your spine. And then change direction, go the other way. Great. And make your circles a little bit smaller, coming back to a central position. Go ahead and close your eyes again now or soften your gaze. Notice what you've got here now after that gentle practice. Notice how you feel. Notice how your breath is. Notice how your hips and your shoulders feel. And notice how you feel towards yourself if it helps to place your hands back on your heart. You can do that and visualize your heart center again here, your heart chakra glowing under your hands, getting stronger, like working a muscle. It does take practice. And really honoring yourself for showing up today, giving yourself that pat on the back, figuratively speaking being proud of what you've achieved on your mat. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. And just offering out that sense of forgiveness, not only to yourself, but to other beings as well. Perhaps there's somebody that you have been clinging on to a kind of grudge against them or something they've said or done that you didn't like. You know, just know with compassion in your heart that they are human and they are fallible just like you and, and make mistakes. And you don't even have to tell them that you forgive them just for now, just see if you can create this little seed this sense of forgiveness for whatever it is that they have done or said and see how it makes you feel see how it softens your heart just a little take another deep breath let it go release your hands drop your chin to your chest <sighs> sigh the breath out blink the eyes open Thank you so much for practicing with me. Please let me know in the comments how you found this one. You may have found it a little bit emotional. That's okay, that's all completely normal. Um, do this one over and over again. It's, it's really going to help shift your inner feeling and your inner vibration. So please feel free to come back, return to this one and do it um, every week if necessary, just to get yourself to a better place. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Namaste.